If you're looking to flush your tankless water heater, you may have noticed online how isolation valves are a key part of the flushing process. But maybe your unit was installed without isolation valves. So how can you even flush your tankless water heater in the first place? Well, stick around as we are breaking that down in this video. For over 15 years, we have helped homeowners with everything involving tankless water heaters, from new installations to flushing and maintenance. And now we are passing on a lot of the insights to you. Hey, if you're new to the channel, please consider liking and subscribing as we are constantly adding videos on all things plumbing, heating, and air. Now, let's jump in. It's possible to flush a tankless water heater without isolation valves, but, and this is a big but, it depends on the water line connections. If the hot and cold water lines connecting to the tankless water heater are flexible, it can be flushed. On the other hand, if the lines connecting to the tankless water heater are pipe only, then isolation valves are required. Next, we'll review the steps required to flush a tankless water heater without isolation valves. But before we get started, we'll go over the necessary tools required. Channel lock pliers, these handy pliers are excellent for loosening and retightening the hot and cold connecting lines with a tankless water heater. Rubber gloves. Although not completely necessary, rubber gloves help keep hands clean from any dirt and protect them from the vinegar scent and the hot water. One gallon of white vinegar. Kitchen grade white vinegar is a great choice for descaling solution because it helps remove sediment buildup. An alternative option is commercial descalers used explicitly for tankless water heater flushes. Two water heater hoses. These two hoses can be found together in hardware stores. A five gallon bucket. To prevent leaks, a five gallon bucket is required. It also holds the vinegar solution and needs ample space to submerge a water pump inside. A submersible water pump. This important tool helps pump the vinegar solution into the tankless water heater. A low horsepower pump with one fifth or one sixth horsepower is recommended so the vinegar has necessary pump power to flush out the sediment. These tools are all readily available at most hardware stores around Southern California. Some of these stores even sell flushing kits that include the cleaning solution, submersible water pump, the hoses, and gloves. After gathering your tools, you can start the tankless water heater flush process. If you proceed to flush without isolation valves, here are four major steps. Turning off connections, draining any leftover water, flushing the tankless water heater, and finishing up. Now, jumping into step number one, let's turn off any connections. Tankless water heaters have connections to an electrical outlet, a water main line, and a gas line that must be shut off before a flush. Here's a breakdown of the steps for this phase of the tankless water heater flush. Unplug the tankless water heater. Some tankless water heater units have specific directions for shutting them off, so refer to your tankless water heater user manual for more information. Turning off the gas valve. Once you locate the gas valve, you may need the channel lock pliers to shut it off. Turning off the water line. Normally, hot and cold water isolation valves can be shut off in this step. Since the tankless water heater has no isolation valves, you may need to shut off the water main line. Instead of shutting off water access to the tankless water heater only, you will need to shut off water access to the entire home. Once you shut off the connections, you will need to disconnect the hot and cold connections attached to the tankless water heater. If these connecting lines are flexible connectors, loosen them up and disconnect them. If the connecting lines are pipe only, isolation valves are required and you will need to contact a technician for further assistance. Now, you can proceed to the next step. After ensuring the connections are turned off, you can start the process of setting up the flushing solution. Connect the two hoses. You can connect the red hose to the hot water line of the tankless water heater and place the other end in the five gallon bucket. Connect the blue hose to the cold water connection of the tankless water heater and connect the opposite end to the submersible water pump. Place the submersible water pump in the bucket and keep the electrical inlet outside the bucket. Pour the white vinegar solution into the bucket until the pump is completely submerged. Plug in the water pump and let it push the vinegar solution through the tankless water heater. 
allow the pump to run and flush for about an hour. As the water pump does its thing, you will notice sediment coming out of the hose and dumped back into the bucket. After an hour passes, you can shut the water pump off and move to the next step. Remove and clean the inlet filter. This tiny sediment filter is located underneath the tankless water heater, but it may vary by model and brand. Once removed, rinse any sediment and put it back in. Loosen up and remove the blue hose from the submersible water pump and the cold water line of the tankless water heater. Remove the blue hose and place it away. Connect the cold water line back to the tankless water heater. Keep the hot water hose inside the bucket. Turn on the main water line access to the tankless water heater. Let the water run through the tankless water heater to flush out any residue and remaining vinegar solution. The water will pour out of the red hose and into the bucket. You may have to dump out the water a few times. After flushing out the water, you are only one step closer to finishing the entire tankless water heater flushing procedure. Finishing up the tankless water heater flush. The final steps are simple and can be completed in the following steps. Let's start by turning off the cold water line access to the tankless water heater and removing the red hose from the hot water line. Next, reattach the hot water line to the tankless water heater and ensure it's tightened with the channel lock plier. Now, turn on the gas valve. Then, plug your tankless water heater back into the electrical outlet. Finally, head inside your home and turn on a hot water fixture. Let the hot water run for five minutes to ensure any vinegar solution is flushed out of the tankless water heater. It is worth noting that if you want to make flushing your tankless water heater easier, then you can install isolation valves. On their own, isolation valves cost between $100 and $150, but can cost more if you require installation assistance. It is important to note that some tankless water heater manufacturers, like Rheem, require isolation valve installations to flush their units properly. So in some cases, they are required. A good place to start is your water heater's user manual. Once you've finished running a hot water fixture, you have completed a tankless water heater flush without isolation valves. The entire process should take from one to two hours to complete. If you run into any issues throughout the process, contact a technician immediately. If you prefer technicians solely to handle tankless water heater maintenances, learn more about the Monkey Wrench Plumbing, Heating, and Air Home Protection Plan for annual checkups, inspections, and routine maintenances on your tankless water heater. If you found any of the information in this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel as we are constantly adding new material on all things plumbing, heating, and air.